the Rockford Public Library, they will not let me use their telephone um, to call f um, for, for shelter. I, I, I called the city and the city is reaching out to two shelters that are uh, that might be available and and one of those shelters I have my I, I have my my birth certificate getting sent to and I might not be able to go back there to sleep um, my jacket it is there at the shelter and I had plugged in my telephone at, in this wall outlet next to my bed at that shelter and because I had my phone plugged in um, they punished me and and the night it was like negative 20 uh, degrees uh, they told me to, 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 to leave and go sleep outside I did not have my jacket the other shelter is is a domestic violence, um, a shelter for victims of domestic violence, and it is up to their discrepancy on whether a, a male can can sleep there. Um, I, I'm not violent or or anything. Um, the the local housing authority has provided um, a list. Of shelters and one of the uh, well, I called a a, a care uh, care uh, ministry and they gave me in their prompt uh, they told me to press uh, a number on their prompt to get a hold of the city because they're no longer uh, they're no longer providing shelter care and then I, I so I so I contacted the city and I explained to them that I'm here at the library, and I am not able to use the telephone, and I, I do need housing. And if you could help, and they said they said they'll call me back. Um, so I only get like my well, my phone's about to die, and I'm not able to use the email here at the library, and it's because I rented a computer from the library and somebody stole that computer and I, uh, I, I, I need to um, uh, I need them to call and find out if where I can go and so they said they'd call me back so uh, what I'm working with is, is like a very um, a very small window which which if, if if they can't get a hold of the shelter, and if they can't get a hold of the shelter, or for some reason there's not availability, there's really nowhere to go. And, and, and what happened was my stuff was ransacked, like gone, stolen. And so I, I sought refuge and I, and where I sought refuge, um, I, I, I was punished for plugging in my phone to charge it. The housing authority has a list of shelters and there's about 20 different suggestions on this list, but most of the suggestions here are 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 is is consisting of outdated information and for instance the 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 red cross number uh, on here is directing me out of this county and into another county to talk to individuals outside of this county and that doesn't help And the other, and the other suggestions are just the um, the IDHS office or the Human Services office or the, like the township. I mean, here at the library, I asked for a, a piece of paper, and I was told I had to 
I had to pay like 15 cents and uh, they wouldn't and I, and I went to check for if I had 15 cents on me and, and I didn't and they're like sorry we can't give you a piece of paper so I could write down like a phone number um, and I have several uh, domestic violence act information sheets a uh, sheet I'll say it again I have um, I have a, a Illinois Domestic Violence Act information sheet, which was issued to me by the police. I have, a, I have case numbers, dates, signatures by the police, um, fleeing domestic violence. And uh, I, I provided that to the city. The, but once again, the, the shelter it's up to the shelters, the domestic violence shelter, it's up to their discretion whether or not they're gonna let a male in or not. Um, and I, I've already said, like, I'm, obviously I'm, I'm non-violent. Like, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm calm, I was gonna say like easygoing, couldn't think of the right word. But if, if both these locations, well, my, my jacket is at the other shelter um, and what, like, uh, if both if both are unavailable, we live in a democracy. We we live in a democracy. And if my possessions were stolen, including the computer I rented from the library, preventing me from utilizing the library's computer, and my clothes were thrown away. And technically the court owns my property at this moment. We live in a democracy. If I told like a little white lie to the um, assistant here at the library and, and said, um, uh, and said that I was a victim of a fire and that's why I can't afford a piece of paper and she says, I don't care. You have to pay for your single sheet of paper then we live in a democracy. If I was hurt by individuals who said that they are hurting me because um, they've hurt me in the past and the police didn't arrest them and believed that I was going to get a settlement due to the fact that the police weren't, didn't do their job. If the reason I can't get employment is because my birth certificate is being sent to a shelter and I can't get there, then we live in a democracy. If the reason for me being hurt is, is because I contacted people for help, then we live in a democracy. If I witnessed my own grandmother getting assaulted and I witnessed nobody helping her, then we live in a democracy. If the city has available funding for emergency shelter at a hotel, but is not dispersing it, then we live in a democracy. When I say in, I do mean under, within. If the keys to my car were stolen,
I think the member of my family who's responsible uh, gets in trouble 